Hey, how is it going? My name is Lewis. Welcome to A Night with Lewis. And today we're looking at Knit. Now, this game is made by Niffler. He makes uh, some small indie games. And uh, this is one of his free titles, so I thought we'd give it a spin tonight. Um, so, we haven't played this one before. This is the start. Um, I've just run into the, uh, this is the instructions. So, uh, let's see how it goes. So this is me here, I believe my name is uh, Nit, and uh, here we go. So the controls seem very basic, that's perfectly fine. I'm well, I'm more than happy with basic controls. Let's go this way. He's quite a cute little fellow. Okay, so we jump up here. I must admit I'm loving the music at the minute. I'm, uh, it's very, uh, it's very fun. Okay, so position yourself here, hit S, then quickly press the left arrow. If the timing is right, you'll perform a wall jump. Let's, uh, let's ace this one, because we're good at that. Oh! First attempt. Okay. So this is where we save, so let's push the door. There we go, so we've saved our progress. We don't even need to save our progress though, to be honest because we're so good. When you hold the A key, you will see the direction of the nearest item which you need to pick up. Ah. We need that triangular cube thing. The orange thing. Okay. So this is the end of the tutorial. Good luck. Well, that seems quite easy. Um, Good times. So let's start a new game. Oh, look at all these little fellows. They seem quite happy going about their day. And we're just we're just gonna climb up the wall because that's what we do. Knit. Oh no! We're being abducted. Help us! Well, that was a very strange beginning to a game. I can't. It's very different. I wonder where he's taking us to. Oh, he's crashed that. Hit. Bad times for the alien. Oh, so this is it. Oh, I feel sorry for the little man. He's probably just trying to make friends. Is he going to touch him? No, we can't touch him. It's probably not good that we can touch him anyway, so that's fine. So let's go this way. Ah, so let's save the game. So we push... We've, we've saved. That's a very quirky game so far. I do like how uh, running left half my face disappears. Perfect. So we're stranded on some uh, random planet. We're going to find out what's going on. Maybe, maybe the alien didn't want to tell us. Which is fine. Look at this lonely fellow. I must admit, I, I kind of, I kind of look like a bent sperm. Hmm. Hello, fellow. Can you aid us? Can we go down here? No, we definitely can't go down there. Hmm. So it's telling us that we need to go down. But as far as I'm aware, water is not our friend. I'm climbing down. Ah. So we've gone into the depths. And we need to keep going down. So we're going to go. Let's try going this way and see what happens. Hello, I'm small. 
I look like a bent sperm. This little thing doesn't... Is he going to hurt me? We'll save before we do anything else. No, he's just... He's just a critter. Just like me. Lonely. On a planet. So, so far, except for being stranded, we have no idea why we're here. And we're just going to run around and figure out why. So we need to go up. So maybe we can jump up these walls and find out. It doesn't it doesn't look like we can climb up here, so let's try this one. Tally ho. Ah, so it's taking us back to the beginning again. Well we can't go any further up, can we? Jesus. Can we go this way? Ah, so we can go this way. Hmm. Can we climb this? Ah, so maybe this is going to take us up. Hello, I'm a small bent sperm. I could do with attention. We've made it to the clouds. And we need to go straight across. Okay. Oh! Oh, crap. This game is so basic that I'm afraid to see if there's any type of reload button to the uh, last checkpoint. I'm afraid I'm going to blow it up. Okay, so that's our jump button. Oh! Aha! Save! So not only can we run up walls, but we can climb clouds as well. Perfect. That's what we aim to do. Hmm. I can see this game being very frustrating very quickly. Yet every time the music seems to play, it puts me in a uh, in a much nicer mode. I kind of feel I kind of feel sad for Nit. It's not his fault he was here. He's abducted. The alien's given us no. Uh, he hasn't put. He hasn't given anything to the team. You know, he's he's just pissing around with his shit. It's not really fair. Yeah, it's saying we still need to go up. Well, I'm not going to do that. We're going to go down. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. Maybe if we go s further into the abyss, we'll find something something new. Ooh. We've broke the game. The pixels have got... Oh, no. No, we're good. We're good. We'll save. We'll take that one. This game weirdly is very soothing. And then the music just suddenly ends. And we're back to screaming at the TV. The g game, even. Yep. Ah, oh, Balls. Hmm. 
cool. So we're good. We're good. We're just going to get to this little save point up here. And save. Well, if I go down here, I def definitely can't get back out. So let's, uh, let's see where it takes us. Ah. Ooh. I love the idea of this game, and it's a beautifully put together game, but... Oh. I still have no idea what's going on. Maybe these little people can tell me. Friends. I'm small, and I need your help. And they're just... They're just gonna... They're just frying their sausages. Obviously, they, uh... They don't like my type here. Hmm. Well, balls to you, then. We're going to go this way. Ooh, it's another alien. Alien friend. He just sits there blinking. In a way, he's, uh, I think he's kind of judging us. He doesn't need to do much. He's an alien. What do aliens do? Well, our thing's telling us to go up. Now, I said that last time. We completely ignored him. We seem to have got further. Oh, that's a slug. So far we've come into nothing that actually interacts with us, so uh, that's, uh, that's great. And now we're underwater as well, with the fish. I'd really love it if I could have sen some sort of sense of direction. I feel at the minute we're going to keep running, and nothing's going to come out of it, except for a dead end. Hmm. Everything here seems quite tranquil, though. Tranquil, even. They don't care we're here. They probably see abandoned spaceships all the time. If there's bent sperms running around with tails, then they evidently, uh... Then this is nothing to them. Hmm. It's times like this when you wish, uh, every game had its own, uh, personal piece of TNT that we could lob at something. This reminds me of a mixture of uh, some sort of old school Mario game and Dig and Rig. I wish I had my jetpack. Still no one wants to be our friend. Yeah, I can't help but think that this game is beautiful. There's something very, very nice about this game. Hmm. I love how it's all put together. All the visuals are perfect in their own little 8 bit wild way. Yeah, I believe there could have been put in maybe a smaller amount of detail into uh, the actual uh, gameplay itself. Because as far I have not a sausage what's going on. At least we've made it up to the bridge. So let's, uh, it can only get better from here, I guess. Hello, Prey Mantis. Will you be my friend? No? 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 No. We're gonna save. Surely saving is a good thing. I 
I'm hoping soon that something just attacks me. I just want some sort of interaction. Ooh. Well, we're definitely getting somewhere. Hmm. Ah, oh. some nice mellow music. Bird up there, little red bird. Still nothing, nothing being our friend. Lonely as always. Now that is a big fucking bird. Maybe this thing can help us. Nope. Nothing. Please don't tell me you just came all this way. For nothing. Maybe we can go up here. Hmm. I'm going to take this jump. Oh. Hey. A bit of skills there. Jesus, can we please find some sort of meaning to this game? As much as it's visually very nice, and when the music comes it's very tranquil, and then it goes, and then it dies. Ooh, now it's getting a bit dark and gloomy. Hello? Hello? It's Nit here. I can do that. Yeah. Hello? Anyone home? I'm scared small and I have no clothes. You've got very big feet. Could I at least have one of your shoes? No? No? Well, fuck off! <laughs> I wonder if I'm going to this little house. No. I'm gonna just chill out up there. She obviously doesn't care about nothing. No, oh, I feel we've just hit another dead end. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh no, we can go down here. Hmm. Definitely don't like the look of this. I'll go back. Yeah. Oh, this one doesn't look very easy at all. But we got the skills. Oh! Got a little dude down there. Poked out of nowhere, erecting out of the lava, out of the magma. Oh my shit. We interacted with something. I'm gonna save. Fuck, something's gonna happen. I'm gonna take a wild guess that we need this to get up here. Oh. Ah, I think I've just understand. I think I've just. Uh, I think I understand what we're doing now. This whole game is a 
I'd love to be able to push her off. Yes, this whole game is a search for all these objects. Constantly running around looking for these fucking objects. Um, we're gonna have to go up there as well. Let's bring this this way. I don't understand why we're getting these objects. I believe it's so we can fix the spaceship, so we can uh, carry on being abducted. But why would we want to be abducted? Well, to be completely honest, I'd rather be abducted than uh, be stuck on this place where no one speaks to you and everyone's in their own little world. They all seem uh, rather, rather a bit sad. Nothing seems just right here in the world of in the world of Nit. We're definitely quite high up. Ooh. Now oh, we got a ladder, that's cool. I don't think we can make it up here though. Let's give it a try. No, we can't make it up there, so we can go this way. I can't see how we're gonna make it up here either. Oh, this is this is hurting my brain. But, we can go up the other side. I love, <coughs> I love how they're putting, uh, sorry about that, I love how they're putting uh, save spots everywhere. We haven't exactly done anything. We've walked a little bit more. We've met more weird ass creatures like this thing. Hello there. My name's Nit. Nice to meet you. Nothing again. Oh. Hey, just having a snack. At least he's enjoying himself. But as far as free games go, you can't fault this kind of stuff, I don't think. I think when people put stuff out for free, that's... That's more trying to make a statement about what they can can do and what they can... what, what they want to do. You know? Like, this game might not be about the gameplay. Probably isn't about the game. It's not really about the gameplay. But this game... It, it's... it's I think the creator of this is trying to show off his um, his art. This is his creativity, which is perfectly fine. I like what he's tried to do. I like how he's. Um, I like how everything's really tranquil, and everything's just nice. It's a very relaxing game. I think after a uh, hard day's uh, hard day at work beating up customers or cooking or or doing whatever your work entails then you could play 10 minutes of this and you'd feel you'd feel loads better and we got we got another thing there so we're still collecting stuff i could just sit here and listen to the musical night that would do me fine oh and now we're roy and truly So yeah, I'm really, really sorry if you didn't like this one. I just chose this game. I think that's what I like to do with these ones. Um, I like to just pick a random game, you know. It makes it more fun that way. You don't know what to expect. Um, but I'm going to leave it there. So this is uh, this is Knit. Um, overall impressions. Uh, it's a very pretty game. And um, I like what the designers done with it. 
he's tried to make it his own, and there's not really many games like this. Um, it's pretty cool. I like how you kind of look like a giant sperm, the naked sperm. Um, and you're just running around, collecting your bits, so you can go back home. Well, you're not going home, you're being abducted more, so you're aiding in your abduction, which is a bit... The storyline could be better. But, um, yeah, no, it's cool. Um, so that is Knit. Uh, my name is Lewis. Um, I'm going to be doing some more um, Nights with Lewis coming up soon. I, d I might not leave my suggestion of games down to um, uh, me going on Google and putting in the free games. Well, um, I might just go buy some range you know, and possibly go on Steam and see what people are doing. Um, but yeah, it's been a laugh. I've enjoyed this one. It's been fun. So, if you want to watch more of the stuff or stuff on the Monster Tech channel, then uh, feel free to subscribe. Um, I like when people subscribe, it's always good. It gives me that warm, happy feeling inside. Um, and I'm sure it will uh, make you feel better when you get to see all the new videos when they come out. Um, like I say, we've got Matt doing some stuff on there for uh, CES 2012. I'm always going to stick with the game inside of things. I'm going to do some, I might touch a few things on some uh, gadgety doodads, but for the time being, it's just going to be games. And we've got some multiplayer stuff coming up as well. I've got. Um, I've got, uh, there's a girl co called Heather who's going to be joining us soon. She's going to be doing some stuff for me. Um, and we're doing a bit of Left 4 Dead 2 coming up as well. Um, but that's pretty much it. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I've uh, definitely found it uh, interesting. It's been, uh, it's been a learning curve for me. Um, and I'll see you soon. So, uh, yeah, it's me. My name's Lewis. Uh, thank you for watching A Night with Lewis. And uh, that's it. Signing up. Goodbye.